So very good evening to all my dear friends. So in this series that is as all of you can see and it is a very popular initiative of mine. So this is a descriptive practice question series and this we are, we are starting for your RBA examination. So in this series, we'll be doing most of the important questions. Uh, those have appeared and can appear in the coming examination, right? So we will take up the most important issues, right, in this series that which can appear in this examination. So to develop the idea for the candidates, we'll be discussing few of the questions initially, right, from the previous year's RBA question. And those are in the news also, right? Uh, and in the coming days, we'll be discussing the probable questions that can appear in the 2024 RBA examination. So let's start today's discussion with the first very question from year 2023, right? First very question from year 2023. As all of you can see, the question is in the light of RBI's report on currency and finance for financial 22-23, explain the macroeconomic effect of climate change. And the second question is three landmark global collaboration related to climate change. Now, why I have picked, right? Why I have taken this question to discuss with you initially. The reason for this is you can see this one. The couple of days, it was quite in the news, right? Climate change because RBI governor has made multiple statements regarding this. That's how this climate change is, right? Uh, uh, keeping a track, right? Keeping a track on the uh, policy changes, how the uh, uh, climate change has impact on the finances. So there are multiple media reports coming across, right? This is one report, the climate change poses channel, uh, challenges for monetary policies. So this is as per RBI. Again, climate change poses challenge for policy risk growth according to RBI report, which was published for your monetary policy. And last year, as well as you know, that RBI has given a detailed report on this, that is report on currency and finance for 2023. And the topic of this report was your right subject or theme was towards a greener and cleaner India. So keeping in this context, that is the recent context related to this RBI report, how climate change and finances right, are interlinked with each other, we are taking this question from last year's RBI grade B examination, that is this one, right? Uh, the report-based question, it was basically based on this report and they have tried to link with it these questions, that macroeconomic effect and landmark over. See, whenever you start attempting some question, my dear friends, very, 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 it is important. Listen to me at this point of time very clearly. Keywords are very important. Keywords are very important in the question. The question has clearly asked first thing, the macroeconomic effects. And the second keyword over here is landmark global collaborations. So many, uh, right, uh, many students or many where I've seen that they have hardly answered this question and they have not, right, tried to go in depth about what actually they are asking in the question. So macroeconomic effect, when they are saying, try to relate it with macroeconomic indicator, macroeconomic indicator. Now, whenever we study about the indicators in any economy, whenever we study about the indicator in any economy, as I have taught you in the RBI Grade B Mentorship Program also, that whenever we study the indicators of any economy, right, it is divided basically into three parts, the leading indicators, the lagging indicators, and the coincidental indicators. So these three indicators, we try to study the position of the economy, how the economy is behaving. Right now in this question, they are asking about the macroeconomic effects. So macroeconomic effects, we will try to this part, the key word is macroeconomic effect. The key thing to answer this question is we'll be dealing with the macroeconomic indicators. Now, when you will be going through this report of RBI, the currency and the finances, you will observe over there in the report that they have not clearly right uh, dealt with each section that how the macroeconomic indicators are being right affected. But they are, they have given some results that they have given uh, they have taken the help of some right findings research and you have to use your own knowledge that which result or uh, whatever things they have mentioned is relating to which macroeconomic indicator. So do not write the about sea level changes. Do not write about the uh, right agriculture directly, but you see that how the sea level or the agriculture is impacting the macroeconomic indicator. This is how you have to handle the question, right? So be very clear. Do not mention about sea changes and all these things. They are clearly asking the macroeconomic effect. So macroeconomic effect can only be answered through macroeconomic indicators. 
right? So you can introduce your answer with a good introduction, right? The impact of climate change, very good introduction. The impact of climate change on economy could manifest through adverse economic of supply potential. See, whenever we are trying to study anything in macroeconomics or the economy, everything, like right, most of the thing is dependent upon the demand and cycle, demand and cycle. So RBI report also mentions that if the climate change is adverse, right, if the climate change is adverse, what will happen? It will lead to the decline in production, the aggregate output decline, aggregate output would decline, right? The prices will rise. If the prices will rise, this will have a devastating effect on the economy, on the entire economy of India, right? So what are the indicators we are going to just observe? The macroeconomic indicators like inflation, fiscal policy, employment levels, national income, and international trade. So macroeconomic policies are uh, factors or macroeconomic effects are those effects which affect the entire country, not the individuals. So inflation would be one of the prime effect of the climate change, right? How it would be? Because as all of you know, that food inflation, I'm just giving one example. You can write others also, right? Uh, if there will be, right, aggregate output will reduce, then the prices will rise, right? It will lead to higher inflation of the food articles. So this can be one of the major impact macro macroeconomic effect in the entire economy. The employment level, the report what RBI has given, it has taken the help of certain findings, certain research. So you can give or you can remember some of the fact-based things from that report to answer the question. You can take from the World Bank, right? World Bank says that India could account for 34 million of the projected 80 million global job losses. So you can remember that as per World Bank, we can lose 34 million out of 80 million job losses in the global level. So India can, right, uh, lead to 34 million job losses. Next is international trade. The report mentions that agriculture sector fisheries, right, uh, would be uh, would be facing significant adverse consequences. So ultimately, the international trade will drop from India. The fiscal policy, as you know, that when the climate is changing, the uh, fiscal policy of the government also changes because overall the entire the position of the economy is changing. So it is said that the tax exemption, the reduction measures will severely be affected because government has to invest more and more money in tackling the climate change. So welfare measures, right, they cannot invest in those areas. So definitely it will have some impact on the fiscal policies. The monetary policies will also be impacted. It will lead to a tighter monetary policies, right? What is tight monetary policy? We have already explained, right, in our uh, basics class, basic classes in RBI grade B mentorship. Now coming on to the uh, national income, obviously if all this impacts, if you sum, it will lead to the decline of the national wealth of the country. Now again, the second part of the question is the landmark. What many people are uh, right, writing in this question, they are not writing the landmark collaboration. Do not write any minor collaborations over here. They are specifically asking you landmark col uh, global collaborations. So if you go to the, the right report of this RBI, in page number 53, you will be finding they have mentioned about the global interventions, global interventions. So do not start writing about the clean development mechanism, ETS, all those things are not landmark global collaborations. So if you're writing that, that is wrong. You have to mention about the global collaborations like Green Climate Fund, you can mention. You can mention about the Paris Agreement. You can mention about the Kyoto Protocol. In page number 53, you will find the tabular format. They have given the global interventions or the collaboration, right? Which is right helping in combating this overall the effect of the climate change. Last, you can end with a conclusion, uh, right? Conclusion, you can frame at your own any statistics, any good thing or a way forward also you can write. So start your answer with a good introduction. Try to read the key parameters, what they are asking. Try to answer those. Do not uh, write answer anything which is unnecessary. Then uh, try to bifurcate the question. Whenever you are starting the second part of the question, give a clear heading that you are starting with the second part of the question so that examiner also understands and lastly end with conclusion. So that's it for this question. We will be daily coming up with such sort of videos, informative videos right on the descriptive that will be uh, right that will help you to further uh, appear in this examination means for the RBA. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.